most people or students consider that performance analysis of algorithms is most difficult topic to understand let us make it easy once we understand the performance analysis of algorithms it is very easy to understand this subject very easily say the main aim and objective of learning design and analysis of algorithms is one should be able to evaluate and take judgments about the algorithm say when a problem is given we need to solve that problem if some set of already existing alg algorithms are available to solve that problem then we should choose the best algorithm for that situation and for that problem or the situation or the situation may be different that is we want to design a new algorithm for a problem so in that case our new algorithm should be better than already existing algorithm how to take this judgment that is by analyzing the algorithm that is by doing performance analysis of the algorithm we can take this judgment that whether we should go for the new algorithm or the new algorithm what we are designing is better than the previous uh, already existing algorithm or which one al which algorithm should be should be choose uh, should to solve that problem so all this judgments or evaluation can be done once we understand the performance analysis completely so we in the couple, couple of videos we are going to learn this particularly we say that space complexity and time complexity are the only two parameters to analyze the algorithm or performance analysis but there are many things we need to consider in general some important characteristics or qualities of the algorithms are correctness correctness means the algorithm is going to work correctly for the range of inputs specified in a finite amount of time then we say that that algorithm is correct and efficiency we usually analyze the algorithm in terms of time efficiency and space efficiency that is the algorithm what we are going to design or the algorithm what we are going to consider that should be efficient one and it should be simple say simplicity is something like beauty that is it it depends on the beholder of the eye right so we cannot say that this algorithm is simple because for some it may be difficult for some it may be easy so simplicity is a most generic uh, term but still simplicity is one of the important quality of the algorithm and generality that is the algorithm should be most general that is for all the inputs it should work right so these are the sum of the qualities every algorithm should possess so that that algorithm is considered as the good algorithm say there are some good codes related to these that like if you are not satisfied with the algorithms efficiency simplicity and generality you must return to the drawing board and redesign the algorithm this is one of the famous quote that is if we are not satisfied with these simple terms related to the algorithm we have to redesign that algorithm and there is one more that is a designer knows he has arrived at the perfection not when there is no longer anything to add but when there is no longer anything to take away say this statement says that if there is nothing to take away from that or take out from that algorithm then that is the most simple algorithm then it is the perfect algorithm okay these are the gender, general terms okay and there are some direct and indirect criteria by which we can analyze the performance of the algorithm some indirect criteria are like this that is does it does it do what we want it to do the algorithm what we have designed or what we have selected whether it does the task what we wanted it to do the second indirect criteria is does it work correctly according to the original specification of the task whatever the problem specification are there whether it works correctly for all those is there documentation that describes how to use it and how it works whether it is documented properly for how it works and how to use that algorithm for a very longer period of time are the procedures created in such a way that they perform the logical sub functions say it may not be whole single algorithm it may be divided into some sub parts 
then all those sub functions are connected correctly that we need to think of then is the code readable once the algorithm is designed then it should be reachable or usable by everyone that that will happen only when it is readable right so these are all the indirect criteria when we are designing the algorithm or selecting the algorithm we should think of when we are analyzing its performance then we will go for the most important subtopics of this that is direct criteria by which we are going to select the algorithm they are space complexity and time complexity in the coming videos we are going to discuss these two separately in detail let us just understand what these are space complexity means the extra amount of space the algorithm requires to till the execution is completed that is is the amount of memory it needs to run to the completion and the time complexity or time efficiency means the amount of time it requires to ex requires to execute that is is the amount of computer time it needs to run to completion so when we are analyzing or when we are doing the performance of algorithm we divide this whole process into two parts that is priori estimates and posteriori testing priori estimates means when algorithm is in the raw ideal idea mode that is still it is in the form of uh, algorithm not in terms of program so if we analyze the algorithm in that case um, algorithm in this sense then we call this as priori estimates if algorithm is already converted to program and con program is on the computer to execute then we call this as posteriori testing so in the coming video we are going to discuss in detail about space complexity in one video and time complexity in another video thank you